Right, I have over here this box, and as you can see, it's a box of rainbow pebbles. It's by this really great company, EDX. Strongly recommend you check it out, edxeducation.com. And I'm going to show you why I just adore this set. Now, first of all, for me personally, I use it for toddlers and younger kids, but most definitely it is amazing for, you know, depending on your needs, this can go really with a lot of different age groups. So, first thing, let me take a... All right. The first thing I want to point out, look at this. I love anything that comes prepackaged in a box like this. If you are familiar with Montessori education, the first thing she says is attractive. And this is perfectly attractive, and I'm going to show you why. First of all, the box is see-through. So if the kids like what's in the box, they just pick it up, they take it, they play, you know, good to go. On one side of the box, as you can see here, is this really easy, um, the opening, you just lift and click open, click close, the click, you know, just listen for the click, and you're good to go. On the back of it, it has the, um rainbow pebbles so if your kids are more into oh I see this toy I know what it is then you put it on your shelf this way the kids pick it up they take it if your kids are more the type that enjoys you know seeing the product itself well then you put it on the shelf this way and same goes for the the shorter sides that one is empty and one has you know the label so for your kids you have everything that you can possibly want in the packaging alone then you open it up, let's open it up together, and now this is obviously, this is a choice. I think that everything should have as many skills as possible. You may agree or you may disagree, and that's fine. This comes in a, you know, zip bag. So for me, it's very, the OT is very important, and this bag offers the OT. So listen to this. The open, and then the pinch closing. Now, in addition to it being an OT skill, it keeps the pebbles nicely stored. But if you don't like this idea or your kids, for whatever reason, messy or, you know, whatever your needs are with them, look at this. Dump it in the box and the pebbles can neatly stay in the box altogether. And as you can see, look how attractive these are. These are so beautiful, so attractive, and they're really nice to hold. They come with larger pebbles, smaller pebbles. These pebbles are made... I'm not sure what they're made out of, to be quite honest, but the feel, they're not like a stone that you would find, you know, like in, in a river, but they're at the same time, they're more plasticky. Um, they're softish. Listen, I don't know, but they're, they're nice. They're not heavy and they're really nice to hold. And as you can see, different sizes. So for kids, the pincer grasp, this would be harder. This would be easier. And especially on a white surface, you know, the kids can work with it. Now, in addition, in addition to just having these great manipulatives, of course, it has. Well, I'm actually going to dump it out. Hold on. A second. There we go. They have these educational cards, and as you could see here, the kids really have to work with these cards to kind of formulate the pictures. Now, a few things I want to point out with this card. This is a higher level. This is card 40, so this would be the highest one. One of my favorite parts about this that some of the toys do not offer is that a lot of toys you actually have to match on top, you know, a lot of the toddler toys. And now that's an important skill, don't get me wrong, but look at this. You know, the body takes up the whole giraffe. The children actually have to put the card to the side, and they actually have to strategize. Hmm, am I doing the body first? Am I starting with the legs? And then they actually have to go back to their rocks and kind of figure out which rocks are they going to use. Well, that one looks good, but wait, if I use that here, I don't have that one, so I gotta get the square rock. Oh, there we go. And or the pebble. And they actually have to really, really use visual skills to kind of put the giraffe together. See, look at this. You know, it's it's oh, one second. It's really not that easy because the pebbles are different and or in the same and they really have to kind of work with the picture work within wait there we go they really have to work within the picture they have to work within their visual skills and it does bring along a lot of skills but you know I know this is harder for more advanced kids but they also have easier ones and I love the easier ones I love how it starts off here's a number three card 
Um, again, the kids can't just put it on top, but this one helps the kids actually familiarize themselves with the racks and size. And if you're teaching kids the difference between size, oops, save it. that's also something very important. I'm working in this little area here. When you work with your kids, is what I do, let's just show you how I do it. I actually clear the area and I would give them four or five racks. Um, maybe even less depending on what we're working on I would place it easy for them to see the rocks and maybe mix it up a bit and then I would place the card in front of them and say okay what are we getting first and then from here I would actually make the kids use certain descriptive words for example oh I need the big yellow rock hmm that's not the big yellow rock and let's say they choose it let's say they choose the big yellow rock for here and they choose this the medium yellow rock for here and by the time they're going to the smaller yellow rock well guess what there's no smaller yellow pebbles and so right now we have to self correct ourselves and the kids would have to put it back put it back and say hmm well if this wasn't the big yellow pebble which was the big yellow pebble and then from there they would have to find the big yellow pebbles and work again big medium and small so in the beginning these cards are really really nice because they kind of work on skills and then they you know uh, skills as far as familiarizing with the rocks here is a level two um really easy for the kids to kind of work with and then you know as it gets harder look at this the kids actually have to stack it which is also a really really fun self-correcting because if they here oops let's move these out of the way um when they're stacking and this is harder to tell the different shapes of the rocks as you could see but as they're stacking if they accidentally put the wrong pebble then it doesn't look good and right here they have to actually or forget look won't balance as well now let's put this completely backward ah, it won't balance as well so the kids really really have to look and use all sorts of you know cognitive skills to kind of work with these rocks and make the most of their you know visual skills and OT skills and look I just want to show you a few more this one I love it's just one challenge all in blue but I love it because the rocks you know they have different sizes and shapes and because they only used one you know theme here they could really make it big and that's a great transition for the kids to kind of learn and visualize the rocks from a different angle because you know till now as you could see the kids were able to see the top of the rock and you know that's really easy to kind of scan for the shape oh does it work does it not but here because the skill is so much harder I love that they you know have it in big print so the kids can actually work with it so just to sum it up these over here these are you know these pebbles are an amazing amazing toy they're from this company edx education i am a huge fan just from this set already this set is easy for the kids to hold and manipulate and at the same time it works on so many you know skills that are I wouldn't say difficult, but important, because if the kids don't have the ability to visualize, visual discrimination is a pre-reading skill, and this is just amazing. Um, I just want to show you some more of the colors. These these pebbles are pretty. They're beautiful. I am most definitely going to leave the link to both the company and you know their product page. I'm also going to leave the link to this direct product because hands down, it is amazing this should be you know in every preschool classroom and every if you're looking for a gift that's educational fun pretty and one that the kids would love definitely these you know rainbow pebbles are they're just amazing they're beautiful to look at as you can see they're beautiful to play with you know they feel good in the hands they're really really nice you have the big ones that are easier to hold you have the small ones that offer challenges here this is the smallest and they're just the challenges are fun, they're creative, and if the kids like art or you're into art, well then you know what? Put the pebbles around them, clear up a surface, and see what they'll create. You know, maybe you never know. Using the rainbow, they could create well, a little flower over here, but you never know what the kids could create. Kids are creative, kids are brilliant, and this toy definitely offers a little bit of the creative arts, you know, in a way that your kids may not have seen it, so just let them have fun with this toy. Um, to see more videos like this, most definitely feel free to follow me, like this video, let me know what you think, ask questions, because I am here for my kids, for your kids, for the kids in my play-based education program, 
just for kids everywhere because I've seen it the more you know when kids are having fun that's when the real learning happens and this toy most definitely offers the kids a fun innovative way to learn and just have fun happy playing